So what kind of steel should you look for if you're looking to buy one? Don't buy a beginner model. Don't buy anything that's a student or a starter or anything of that nature. These are really not good quality instruments and they will prove to be more frustrating in the long run. It's just not a good investment. You should avoid anything that was made before probably 1964 or 5 because the technology then was, was, was simply uh, not as good as it is now. Emmons made very good guitars in the 60s uh, and uh, those, are, those are worth getting. Showboat is an old brand that is also is good. But uh, whatever guitar you get, you should be sure that it has at least three pedals and four knee levers. There, there, there are probably half a dozen you know, or more uh, 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 good quality brands, um, Zum, uh, Derby, uh, Emmons, uh, Franklin, Reigns. These are, these are serious instruments. These are more boutique shops. Avoid anything by the big labels. You don't want to buy a Fender uh, pedal steel guitar. You don't want to buy, definitely don't want to buy a Gibson pedal steel guitar. These are museum pieces. They, are, they predate any serious technology uh, improvements and they're just going to give you a hard time. Fender did make very good uh, uh, regular lap steels or, or table steels that have no pedals at all. Those are fine. And you know, and if you are really, really interested in getting that Fender sound, only a couple of people, Ralph Mooney comes to mind, played a Fender and got a good sound out of it, it's a challenge. Uh, if you're going to have enough problems with the instrument as it is, get something modern. I'd say definitely, you know, if, if I had to say, don't even go near the 60s or 70s. Get, you know, something from the 90s or the 2000s uh, and uh, you'll be in better shape. So that's it for what kind of steel to get.